Hey Cougars, it's Mr. Franklin here for Business 110. In our previous video, we kind of laid the groundwork to talk about the pillars of uh, personal finance. And now we're actually going to talk about how do we use those pillars to create financial success. First off, here are the four things we're going to kind of look at, which I've taken from other sources. One a great video that I will try to link in Canvas for you is Mark Tilbury talking about how to retire in seven years, starting with zero dollars. The title itself is like many YouTube videos. You could read it as clickbait, but he has lots of good things to say. Um, so it is definitely worth watching. And I will post that link in Canvas for you. Bottom line is financial success. There's all kinds of different plans and systems and everybody's got a different edge or a different way to look at it. Number one thing you need to do is got to make a goal for yourself. And ultimately, time should be your goal. And money is the tool for that kind of freedom. So if you want to be able to use the time as you see fit. So for example, um, Dave Ramsey actually says this as well, but um, if you don't have any bills to pay and you don't like the job you're working at, what's to stop you from getting a different job? Nothing, because you don't have any bills to pay. However, in my own, my own case, I've got a family I got to take care of. I've got responsibilities I have to meet. There's a certain amount of job I have to do, okay? And so, especially if I'm not investing or being smart, maybe I have a lot of bills, then maybe I have to do this job because it's what's allowing me to pay those bills. Okay, so make goals for yourself, start early, but really the goal shouldn't be money. The goal should be, using your time the way you want to use it, which that's probably the number one thing you'll get out of this video. That's what I got out of watching that one. Um, step two, I mean, have a dream, have a plan, but get the income started, start a job, start a business, but get the money coming in. And usually the easiest way to start is to get a job which you can then use to fund a business or something like that. And then we're gonna focus today on the long-term plan and maybe a little bit of the short-term. But you're gonna make a plan to meet your goals. And we're gonna look at the long-term plan for that. Dave Ramsey has his baby steps, highly, highly recommend. Um, I found another couple of guys on YouTube. Uh, they're financial advisors, money guys. They have a financial order of operations. It's slightly different. It's a great place to look. And I'll link the video where they compare what they say against what Dave Ramsey says. And you're going to see the core is the, exactly the same, but there's a couple of things where they're a little bit more nuanced than what, what Dave might say. Just keep in mind, Dave Ramsey, one of the things that works for, that makes him so great is he is really targeting the average consumer who is not necessarily, who doesn't have a plan and who is not self-disciplined. Um, if you're a spender where you're like, oh, let's go have fun. Let's go do this. Oh, don't worry about it. We have money. We can do. If you're kind of spur of the moment, that kind of a thing, you really need to pay attention to Dave Ramsey because he's going to kind of help let you do that, but also make sure that you're meeting those other financial goals and responsibilities that may bite you in the end. So anyway, lots to be said about that. And we'll get into some of that in a minute. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is living on a budget. So the budget is, is your long-term plan, but it's also your short-term plan. To me, it's how do you live out your finances? Um, how much money is coming in? How much are you spending in different areas, but also being disciplined and accounting for every dollar and only spending the money that you say you're going to spend? All right. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. So let's start with Dave Ramsey's baby steps. You can go find his Dave Ramsey solutions. Tons of resources. You should check it out. He says these seven things. First, you should start an emergency fund, save $1,000, get $1,000 in the bank. Um, then you're going to pay off debt using the debt snowball. We'll talk about in a second. You're going to have an emergency fund. Then you're going to continue to develop your emergency fund once you uh, pay off your debt and usually three to six months, depending on your needs. Then you're going to invest for retirement. And then you're going to work on college for yourself or for your children. And you're going to pay off your mortgage or pay off your house. And then you're just going to continue to build wealth and also be generous to other people. Okay, 
So some thinking behind this, emergency fund. One of the, the biggest problems with most people's finances is debt. But one of the reasons we get into debt is something comes up, like I got a flat tire, I don't have enough money to pay for it, so I'm gonna use my credit card. Okay, so by having an emergency fund, I'm taking care of those risks, I'm taking care of those basic emergency needs, and now I don't have to rely on the credit card. That's kind of the fundamental premise there, um, from a, if, especially if debt is a problem for you. Hopefully, for you, um, it's not, but it may be. Um, the next thing he says, after you save $1,000, is pay off debt using the debt snowball. Now, Dave Ramsey has a sp specific version. It's a little different than what some other people might recommend, but the debt snowball is you're gonna pay off your smallest credit card or debt first. So if I have a $10,000 student loan, a $3,000 car loan, and I have a $250 credit card that I still owe on, I should pay off the credit card first, okay? Once I paid that off, that might be an extremely low example. Let's say it was a $2,000 credit card, but I pay that $2,000 off. Whatever that minimum payment or the amount I was paying a month to pay that off, I'm going to now add that to my payment for my car, and I'm going to pay off the car, the regular car payment, plus the amount I was paying on that other debt. And now this, the amount I'm paying on my debt grows like a snowball so you put a little snowball and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger that's the idea okay and the idea is to pay off your debt as fast as you can you start with the smallest amount first because it's a mental thing and once you pay off one it helps keep you motivated to keep at it now some adv financial advisors one we're going to look at in a second recommend you pay off your highest interest rate first which economically makes more sense, but usually those tend to be larger or can be larger and you may not see that win for a little bit and it could be defeating for some people. So um, you'll have to see which one works better for yourself. But either case, they do it on a snowball method. Then I take that payment for that higher interest one, I roll it into the next higher interest one. But so basically my, I get rid of debt as quick as I can. That's the goal. Then comes the emergency fund. This is where you're really, now that the debt's paid off, you can actually now get yourself really set to handle any risk. And this is kind of the idea is how long will it take you? If you lose a job, how long will it take you to get the next job? Maybe it's only three months. Maybe it's six months. Lots of depends in there but that's what you should have. Um, and then there's also, well, we have nice to haves versus need to haves. So that takes a little more thinking, but don't cheat, cheat yourself on that, okay? So having, when I got out of the Air Force, I didn't do, I didn't think about that properly. And in hindsight, I saw some things that I could have done that would have really helped us out. So we could talk about that more later. Okay, once you've got your emergency fund taken care of, now you can begin investing. You're gonna invest 15% for retirement. We're talking Roth IRAs um, and all kinds of other investments, which we haven't talked about investments yet in class and we will get to those, but that's the next step. Then you should save for college and the rest we've already kind of talked about. So, um, but I really wanted to highlight that that snowball. Okay, now, Money Guy Financial Order of Operations, they have quite a few more steps. They're a lot more explicit in their steps, a lot more detailed. Um, but if you are not a self-disciplined person, Dave Ramsey's is probably going to be the better way to go. Um, he's also a very motivational person to listen to. So first one, make sure you're, for your savings account, for your emergency fund, make sure your deductibles are covered. So a deductible is if I go to the doctor, if I have to, if I have insurance where I have to pay up to $200, then the insurance pays the rest. Well, I got to have money to cover that. Okay. So that's what they mean. So um, car insurance, life, uh, life insurance, car insurance, health insurance. I got my deductibles covered. Very basic thing. So that could be $400 in your savings account. That could be $1,500 in your savings account, depending on where, where you're at. Okay. Um, 
The next one is get that employer match. And I'm going to link this for you, but you're basically going to have to watch them explain this because we haven't really gone over this. But basically what this means is some employers will let you put in a certain amount of money in a retirement uh, account, and then they will match up to a certain amount, however much you put in. Now, this money they match with you is money they wouldn't give you otherwise. So in other words, what they're saying is you're going to get 100% return on investment because you put in money, your employer automatically gives you that amount. And so they're saying that should be your next step. Okay. Then they say you should do your payoff your debt. And then you should do your emergency fund. Three to six months is what most people say. Um, and then they, then they kind of follow or very much locked step with Dave Ramsey, but they're a little bit more ex uh, explicit, okay? And when we get to our investment section, we'll, we'll break that out a little bit more. Now, they make a big deal about when we get to the safer college step, don't neglect to retirement because when you retire and now you're, you haven't planned for that and now you're a burden on your children, um, that can actually be more impactful than not paying for their college, if that makes any sense. Um, so keep that in mind to pay off your house, continue building wealth and be generous. So definitely you should look, watch both of these guys and I will put those links for you to, to look at. Bottom line, here's what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using those two sets of guides to kind of help us and we're gonna budget. 